He's there. There's the Jones Sierra with the bouquet of roses. And here comes Charlotte Teeter. All smiles. Tom Tomstone said Charlotte chose Texas Tech over half the SEC on the field leader. Started to evolve into a leader last year. COVID wrecked one of the best teams they ever had, which you hear that a bunch because COVID just shut everything down. Tom Stone said the entire program was fragmented, needed inside the clubhouse leadership. And Charlotte Teeter and Hannah Anderson, who's got the ball for just a second there, stepped into those roles. Teeter starting from day one. She just lost the ball to the Baylor Bears. In white with the green numbers tonight. Flashing to the front is Patterson, one of the Dallas Baptist transfers. I am Jeff Haxton. Thanks for being with us on ESPN Plus here tonight. It's a home football weekend for Texas Tech. Homecoming coming up there against the West Virginia Mountaineers. Chested down by Macy Schultz. A little private game there for the Red Raiders. Tom Stone, hands in the air, wanting something different from his team. Oh, now he's got Kazarski with Barr running and assuming possession. 
Barr, nice advancement. Kazarski launches the cross. Taken out of the air by Lauren Trawick. Sierra Jones, a goal in her career, 1,026 minutes. Teeter heading towards 6,500 minutes, 13 career goals. It said Sierra is one of the toughest players he's ever known. Remember, she had that over 600-day rehab stint. Said most players wouldn't have made it through what she went through. Psychologically tough, afraid of nothing, competitive. It's a family legacy with Sierra. Everybody attending Texas Tech and the family. Says that Sierra will not only contribute to that legacy in her family, but carve out and leave one for herself. And it's pretty big time praise for Tom Stone. You're gonna earn some respect if you go through two ACLs. Find a way to make your senior year work. We're seeing some of these players that have lasted six years in their career because of red shirts, COVID, transfers. No score so far. They're at John Walker Soccer Complex. Ashley Williams. Great punch by Trawick. The alert was on there for the Baylor keeper and she rose to the occasion. The diving punch. have it and she does. It's Kaylee Abels. Abels a veteran. Number six there, middle of your screen. 92nd game played, 87th start. Talking minutes, 7,417 coming into tonight. Started all of her matches as a freshman. Played for five years. All popped out by Skrzynski. There's Abels. Be a defender or a midfielder. <laughs> Clever work there by the Bears, knifing through Texas Tech defenders. And that's played perfectly out in front of Renata Vargas. Cuts loose and over the top. There's Vargas. Five games, five goals, already leading Baylor's team in that category. Two game winners. And again, 27 goals for Capel. Football still have this matchup on the gridiron to come. And it'll be Baylor heading into Lubbock, not this Saturday, but the next. Right before Halloween. We'll jump into November and we'll have men's and women's basketball starting early in the month. Soccer's still a ways to go. But not very far. 
Texas Tech at TCU. Baylor home with TCU. Baylor still has Oklahoma State as well. This is what we're playing for as far as standings. Big 12 regular season championship. Seeds based on conference point standings. Held in Round Rock this year, not Kansas City. Should be a little warmer this year. Blythe Obar. Trying to thread the needle was Mueller. Unsuccessful. This ball will roll for a while here. Nudged back to Trawick. Having possession, attacking from the back. That's what Baylor wants to do. Teeter hopping with anticipation. Terrific ball for Barr. Lost possession on the dribble, tackled away. Throw in coming for the Red Raiders along the touchline. That's Hannah Augustin. She's got a goal against San Francisco this year. No shots on goal yet. Defense winning the day so far. The shot that Texas Tech had was from Giselle Kazarski. Jenna Patterson, DBU transfer, has two assists, played 55 games for the Patriots. Had six goals. Came over with the coach, Michelle Leonard. Has friends and family here from her Coronado days here in Lubbock. Went to play soccer for the Mean Green and Coach at DBU, 200 wins. Now, first year coach for the Bears. Good story. It's headed for the six, taken on a hop by Madison White. Madison White is 29 16 and 2 in goal. Make that 12. Big difference. 29 16 and 12. This year, she's allowed 11 goals. 46 saves. We'll have our first substitution of the night. It'll be Peyton Parsons entering your screen. She'll play forward, take the spot of Kazarski. Parsons, one goal this year. Snares possession for Texas Tech. Trying to tilt the field. Coming back to the bottom of your screen, it's Elise Anderson. Schultz getting down low, keeping the ball across the center circle. Barr looking good. Has an angle here to attack the Baylor Bears. Into the box. Great pass. Gorgeous defending by Baylor. Stepped in right as the pass was headed for its target. Malenga, one of the more physical players on the pitch. We dip under 20 minutes to play in the first half. Charlotte Teeter. 
started her career with a goal on this side. That's another one here in this first half. Sprzynski. Elise Anderson. Loves that spot on the field. She gets really dangerous just outside the 18 angle right. Skrzynski with the flip. Schultz tried to power it home and take it away. And Lauren Trawick. A few looks for the Red Raiders so far. There's that defense. Saving Baylor there was Kohlberg. And Barr had a great angle. Surprised Texas Tech didn't get more out of that with the buildup they had. Sit down field for Elise Anderson off the top of the boot. I would say the same thing. When told she was the defensive player of the week, Tom Stone looked right at Elise Anderson. Didn't say a word, just looked at her. Elise Anderson looked behind herself, thinking there was somebody behind her that was going to be the award winner. And Tom Stone's like, no, it's it's you. That's how unassuming and selfless Elise Anderson is. Great teammate. Let's see from South Lake. Still got another year after this year. Catching a quick breather. Time stop for an equipment issue. And it'll roll again. Bears in the middle third. Had trouble getting it to the attacking third. Only been there a couple of times. Good pass in traffic from Mueller. Step through by Merrill. Torn away by the Red Raiders. <laughs> Ball went off Elise Anderson. And Baylor will run out its first substitution. Sarah Horniak. First time on for... Caitlin Giametta, 5'5 sophomore from Prosper, Texas. Baylor as a squad this year has been outscored 26-15. Goal scoring has been the big issue, but again, you had four players that you were expecting to have that you don't with injuries. Just now getting the services of Vargas, who has five goals in five matches. Taylor Moon. Been out with injury. Baylor trying to form a counter. Answer. Just out. Flag is up. Yeah. 
Mueller has a goal this year and a nice round of applause for Sierra Jones. Here she comes. Sky Leach, Maddie Algy coming on for Baylor. Skrzynski comes off for Texas Tech. That's Leach. She has an assist this year out of Flower Mound. See Mueller coming out. Parsons going to make a run for this ball. Trying to get there, does. All right by the defender, Horniak. Crosser just over Sierra Jones' head. Sierra Jones has one goal in her career as a game winner against Iowa State. Teeter call for a foul. Hasn't been as physical as you usually see. Thursday night in the Big 12. See Sierra Jones wishes for just a few more inches on the jump. Just not quite there. A decent attack there, though, by the Red Raiders. Tech winners of four straight. In pursuit of a Big 12 championship, a lot of traffic at the top. Hannah Anderson using her strength to earn a throw in. Texas Tech has been good in the first half this year, outscoring their competition 13 to 5. 21 to 11 overall, just haven't allowed many goals. So quite a few 0 0 ties this year. A roll to Madison White, who's had a sleepy first half. Bears have not threatened. Good ball for Sierra Jones. Knees it down to herself. Drags a pass for Elise Anderson. Cross turned harmless by Bear. Defenders. Hannah Augustin. Sky Leach. Leach gets it on the comeback. Teeter tripped on the ball. Now foul. Foul on Algy. There she is, Maddie Algy. 75th game. Approaching 5,000 minutes, six goals for number 10 in white. Not much contact there, but the wrestling match before it might have sealed the deal. Sierra Jones in pursuit, but crafty running there by Obar. Put out wide, but nobody there for the Bears. Texas Tech throw. Ball girl does the work. Nice job, young lady. Dreaming about being in this position one day, no doubt. 
Also had a little trunk or treat going out. The John Walker Soccer Complex parking lot. So all those trick-or-treaters got to come in here now and watch some soccer. This one looking good just over the bar. Ripped with the right leg of Matty Algy. Told you she had six career goals, nine assists, and that was close to being on the board. Look at that. Soar over the net just barely. Nothing Matty White could do about it at that point, but harmlessly over the net. The result. Gorgeous pass, Hannah Anderson. Hammered off the crossbar. Kylie Barr just missed the first goal of the night as things are starting to open up here. Her third shot on goal right here. Ninth of the year. Look at her size it up to the strong right leg. All created by Hannah Anderson's pass. Just missed. Both sides showing how quickly you can get the ball in a good position in the last two minutes. That third shot on goal, I knew that wasn't going to be correct. For Barr, still at two on the year. Still mighty close. Seven forty left here in this first half. Are breathing heavily, just been running up and down that sideline. Baylor's done a really good job of keeping the ball off the feet of Ashley Williams. He's in the middle left of your screen right now. Hasn't had many touches. Nice anticipation by Hannah Anderson. Taylor with a reversal. Lee Sanderson popped it by Sierra Jones. Giametta with a tackle. Tackled back by Algy. Foul on Algy. Crowd appreciates the effort for Giametta. There's Ashley Williams. Texas Tech 7 and 0 oh when she scores a goal. She has done a lot of that lately. Nine goals on the year. Teeter awaits the free kick, puts it on the ground short. Texas Tech throw. Right to Sierra Jones. Elise Anderson. Behind Ashley Williams and Giametta. Approaching five minutes left here in the first half. Right. 
Texas Tech hard to beat here at home. Jeff Haxton with you on this perfect Thursday night. Lee Anderson applying pressure and too much of it. Koyman got knocked down from behind. Koyman's 69th match was on the all Big 12 freshman team in 2019. Eight career girl goals for uh, Koyman. Fight for possession. Seventeen in black is Alexis Folks recently checked in. Zero Jones thinking for Ashley Williams, intercepted, cut out by the Bayer defense. Both sides giving it away to each other. Bar could not quite corral. Taylor works it to Elise Anderson. Bears in pursuit. Ashley Williams not good on that exchange. She had Elise Anderson going on a run and couldn't spot her, couldn't control the ball. Trey Wick will come up to grab it. Trawick's allowed 22 goals this year. Sub coming on for Texas Tech, Jillian Martinez. Ashley Williams will catch a breather, extended into halftime. Under two minutes. Each team looking for the first tally of the night. Baylor, I think a terrific job on Ashley Williams this half. make somebody else beat them. It's the way that it feels. Jillian Martinez started her career at UCLA, former Texas Gatorade Player of the Year in high school. Wearing 10 in black. Let's see how she handles the Bears in the middle. Taylor going to have to clear it into the corner and saving a corner kick as Elise Anderson. Look at her go from one end to the other. You see her on the attack on the opposite end. Very much a huge part of the defense on this end. Good conditioning. As Folks gets into rocket that one out of play. 48 seconds left in the first half. Thirty seconds. Bears trying for one last push. They may have a foul there, but no whistle. Martinez can't track it down, and that's the first half. It is in the books. 
as of right now. Red Raiders and Bears in a stalemate. City, Texas Tech and Baylor have switched sides here. See the crowd, it's great on the right side of your screen. Big time crowd here tonight. Kirsten Davis has returned from all her goal scoring at Texas Tech. She's in the house and we are underway in the second half, right to left in black and red for Texas Tech. And Baylor in white with the green numbers. Macy Schultz, I think might have just earned a corner kick there. She did. Macy Schultz, aggressive. And this will be the first corner of the night. Peyton Parsons going to take it for the Red Raiders. This is a spot where Baylor struggled defensively against West Virginia, giving up two corner kick goals. First corner of the night. Had a chance there at that ball. Kylie Barr leaped up in the air. It went over her head. And Baylor does a good job of packing it in there to avoid an early goal in the second half. Wind is not an issue tonight. That's not something we say often in Lubbock. It is just perfect. Gotten much cooler as the sun has gone down. 68 degrees for Mackey weather. Clear sky above us. Here you see what we have. Really about as good as it can get. The ball's going to come up into the second row. Be a Texas Tech throw in along the touch line. Bounding ball for Schultz. Headed away by Baylor. Schultz trying to cut through. Texas Tech looks much more aggressive out of the halftime locker room. Could set them up for a counterattack. Come the Bears with a chance. Saved by Maddie White. That was Elizabeth Coyman having the opportunity. White, 2019 first team, all Big 12. Malinga, side boot over to Sierra Jones. Tech will throw it in. the center circle. A nice ball over to Patterson. Cross, headed out. Lee Sanderson got to it. Watch out for Mueller. Noticeably, trying to shake that off now and run through it. Couldn't be easy. Giametta feeds forward. Elise Anderson trying to wait for help. Taken by Trey Wick. She has been solid in goal. 5-5 junior from Austin. Finally 
certainly a foul whistle there. Everybody falling down right in front of Tom Stone. Get a look at it here. Timber, Timber. Foul on Patterson. Pass intercepted. DBU transfer Patterson. Referee says play on. Now we're getting physical. Heel. Baylor on. Good job by Cassie Taylor to stay in front of Ashley Merrill. Baylor, as we mentioned, is dealing with some missing pieces this year. Kaylee Abels. She has uh, received, yeah, been on the field some, but not as much as they wanted to. And Taylor Moon forward to watch United soccer coaches. They are looking good here, though. A leaping header by Anderson. And traffic. Danger for the Red Raiders. And off the side of the foot there and out of play. Try to get an angle. She's off. See the flag up. AC in open field. It's really good. 71st game for Macy Schultz. 14 career goals, six assists, 45 shots on goal, and five game winners. Over 3,600 minutes. Number three in black. Tim Nav, Colorado. Vargas playing catch up. And Anderson with clearance. See the senior boards over there, Sierra Jones. Charlotte Teeter, two and four. It's a foul on Vargas, too aggressive. Sarah Jones went down, popped back up. Two years of rehab, two ACLs. Might not be any tougher out there than little Sierra. Where's she going? Across here to the middle for Hannah Anderson. She's got Barr at the bottom of the screen. She'll show up right now. It's Kylie Barr racing to the spot. Cross, head wide for Schultz. Bang, bang play there. Good on both sides. Trying to time it, get adjusted to it, couldn't quite get it in the back of the net. The second half has been much more open. Shove there from Patterson. Crowd didn't like that.
Parsons. Giametta getting second half run. Schultz toes it to Parsons. Swings it towards the six, too much on it. Goal for a goal kick. Go under 35 minutes. Remember, no overtime. We don't get this one settled. Overtime in 2022. Nicely, but Anna Anderson takes it. Scholes trying to hit the afterburners. Taken by Trey Winkle. Think of soccer and oh, yeah. non-contact sport. All you have to do is take a look at the, the amount of knee braces. Sport where you better have the ice machine ready. Ice bags for everybody with traveling as much as they do. Five, six, seven miles a match. Giametta's got a knee brace. Abels has had a knee for Baylor. She's about to show up at the back left here on your screen. Malinga's been through a knee injury for Texas Tech. Knee injury for Blackburn, Macy Blackburn, to start the year in match four. Coach Leonard dealing with her players all year long from the start, really. It is rough and tumble at times. Haley Augustin. Abels and swung around to the midfield strike. <laughs> Vargas tried to play it to herself. Hannah Anderson's going to get in the way. Anderson, one of the best defenders in the Big 12. We may have a foot race here with Mason Schultz. Clogged up for a moment. Tech into the attacking third. Elise Anderson. Just in front of Ashley Williams. Texas Tech pressing forward, making life difficult on the Bears. Augustin cleared it, but not all the way. Parsons drops it for Barr. Red Raiders pressuring. Smacked out of the 18 for the defender, Abels. First sub of the second half is going to be Giselle Kazarski. She'll take off the target jersey and head in. Sierra Jones comes off. Remember Giselle Tied for first in shots on Texas Tech's team. She had met a to barrel through. Cassie Taylor, Hannah Anderson. Parsons, she has a goal this year. Kicked it right to Baylor. Intercepted by Mueller. Right over Tom Stone's head and out. That struck up high around Parsons' jaw. She reacted like it didn't even hurt, and <laughs> you know it did. Showing toughness. Baylor 
carving it out now. Trying to keep possession and build from the back. Great hustle, but just too far out in front. With Patterson. Got a leg to it, but kicked it out for a goal kick. During that time at Dallas Baptist, Coach Leonard, 200 wins, 77 losses, 13 conference championships, seven of those in the regular season, six tournament championships. So he knows how to win. Of a Coronado grad. Played at North Texas. Knows the state, knows the recruiting. Should position themselves nicely in the new Big 12 with Cincinnati, Brigham Young, Central Florida, and Houston coming along. Texas and Oklahoma departing. Although it doesn't look like they'll be gone until 2025. Winner. Brought three players from DBU, Patriots. Not far on the relocation, that's for sure. Down I-35 to Waco. Parsons whipped it. Now look for Malinga, chips it way high. Sub coming on for the Bears. Haven Terry, who has a goal this year. It was against Minnesota. She'll be wearing 30 in white. Take a look at Penelope Malinga. Holding down the midfield. 51st match for Texas Tech. That number would be much higher. Injuries had her sit out an entire year. Number six in black. This game about three quarters in the book. Still no goals up on the scoreboard. And if we get to zeros at zero zero, it's a draw. Point for each side. Anderson got away with a push. Giametta attacking middle. Nice clearance. Sliding tackle there by the Bears. Haley Augustin. Last year, the 6A Division 6 Defensive Player of the Year. And the physicality is amped up here in the second half. Bounced Hannah Anderson. Texas Tech would like to get some more corner kicks and set pieces to get Hannah Anderson involved in height, strength. And look for her on corners, especially. Bring her from the defensive position where she's at now. Forward to try and head it in. Anna Anderson has nine career goals. Really good for a defender. She's always one of the taller players on the pitch. Clever move up the sideline there. Colbert all the way back to Maddie White.
heard the contact there and a foul on the Red Raiders. That was boot to shin right there. Kylie Barr. You'll see it here. Right there. Easy call for a referee. Under 25 minutes now. Pass intended for no one. We're at the JW Soccer Complex. John Walker. Red Raiders looking for the lead right here. Schultz. Attack. Corner kick. Really fun just to watch Macy Schultz run. Now watch for Hannah Anderson. She'll come up in the fray. Here's what I'm talking about with Schultz. Take that opportunity. And now Baylor really has to get back. See Abel's looking for trailers, then stopping ball. Lots of things happening there on that play. Going to take the corner short, Kazarski. Off the head of Giametta. Leaping block there. Uh, Haven Terry, who recently checked in for the first time. Slight pass. Schultz is on. Macy Schultz just missed wide left. Crowd rising in anticipation. Trawick took angles away. We're starting to have more opportunities, more creases for the Red Raiders to try and fit into. Schultz showed good patience there. Off the side, not the crossbar, the not the the post, but off the back side of the goal. Ashley Williams on now. Watch out for her to try and exploit with fresh legs. She's been off those legs for quite some time now, taken out early, beg your pardon, late first half. Crossing forward by Tech, Baylor holds its ground. Off of Baylor, Elise Anderson earns the throw in. Anderson throws forward. All taken from Kazarski. <laughs> Ball's been on this end for quite some time. Texas Tech leaning, applying pressure. Elise Anderson. Schultz. All the way to the clubhouse with that one. Big boot. Bounced up higher than she expected. Slows the attack down. That's Olivia Mack. She has fresh legs. Schultz off to the races again. Ashley Williams. Super strong. Parsons uncorks over Kazarski. Baylor will get the throw. Hannah Augustin. Just 
about to trickle under 20 minutes. Tom Stone saying Baylor much scarier than their record looks. Capable of beating anybody on any given night. Lisa Anderson kept it in, but nobody was trailing. A mistake, though. Kozarski keeps it for Texas Tech. Teeter denied. Parsons into the 18. Their defense up to the challenge. And Anderson coming forward now. Extra pass to Parsons. Goal kick. Bears have a substitution waiting. It'll be Sky Leach coming in. Scoring from the back. Texas Tech will do that some as well. Skrzynski with a goal this year. Elise Anderson's goal against Oklahoma State was big. And then Hannah Anderson, two notches for her this season. Talked about it. That's not something that's rare. Nine career goals for Hannah Anderson. Zarski jars it free. Got Ashley Williams in front. But you look, there's two Baylor Bear defenders just kind of hawking the every move of Ashley Williams. Teeter trying to get an angle. Bad pass. Trying to fight through fatigue and close. And Anderson lets fly wide left. Merrill right there, number 17. She's dealing with two Texas Tech players. Just have to win that possession. Out off Merrill. What? A foul was called there. And I'm telling you, Blythe Obar was never touched. Tom Stone is losing his mind. He is losing his mind because Obar tripped on the ball. My goodness. That's fascinating. Obar tried to do a move and got with the turf monster and the ball. Watch this. Never touched. Interesting call by our official. Well, I can see, though, out, maybe out of the corner of his eye, he's trying to get in position, and he sees Williams on the blow-by. Maybe he anticipated contact when that whistle goes off. All right, this will be interesting. Counter-attack deluxe. Ashley Williams ponders. Steady. Shoots! Great save by Treywick, denying Ashley Williams. The crowd appreciates both sides with that effort. Schultz streaking middle. Haley Augustin dancing, dancing, and it's not Good news for Baylor, unless Lauren Trawick does what she did. Now, corner kick coming for the Red Raiders, but that was a great save. Fourth corner for Texas Tech. 
Bradley Parsons. Gets it high. Headed towards the goal, but Baylor's line of defenders take care of business. All the way to the back here. Stepping in, Omar. see the handspring throw in here. I think Schultz will put the ball down, do a flip. There she goes. Nope, she stayed with staying upright. Teeter. Dangerous pass. Here come the Bears. Bears with a wonderful opportunity. And Mac. Mac. Wide right. <laughs> Olivia Mack, 46th game, three goals in her career, two game winners. Just about had another one. Kylie Barr gets the credit for getting that pushed wide right. Both teams trying to throw haymakers. Down the stretch here in Lubbock. It's going to spin enough to where it had to be cleared by Haley Augustin. Here's Mack, and you watch Barr. If Barr doesn't run her off her line, that's a goal. Firmly believe Mack, who had a goal against Texas Tech last year, would have had another one there. Two goals for Mack a year ago against Oklahoma State and Texas Tech. Gabby Mueller had a goal against the Red Raiders last year. I mentioned a couple of Bears returning with success against the Red Raiders. Baylor won 3-2. Completely different matchup tonight. Much more defensive and physical in the second half. Goals impossible to come by so far. 12.30 left to change that. Teeter interrupted. Kazarski. Teeter. Goal! Red Raiders! Charlotte Teeter on her senior night. Incredible! What a leader, what an example. Her first game at Texas Tech featured a goal, the first goal of the year against New Mexico. The assist from Kazarski and boom! Red Raiders lead 1-0. Charlotte Teeter with a rocket. And celebration for the Red Raiders. Electrifying goal from Charlotte Teeter. Her third of the year. Her 14th in her stellar career. Texas Tech advancing and looking for more. Parsons handling Skrzynski. She'll get it back from Schultz. Baylor not done. Barr and Mack running together. I think that'll be a throw in. No, a foul against the Bears. Mack submarined Kylie Barr. Charlotte Teeter playing in her 85th game. What a time for her. 
senior night goal. So Taylor legs it out front. Ashley Williams trying to catch up to Augusta. Throw in coming for the Red Raiders as we approach 10 minutes. That young lady right there for Baylor, Treywick, has been outstanding tonight. Shutting off angles, cutting down Red Raider shots. Texas Tech has three shots on goal. I think that one nearly impossible to stop. Through traffic, on the ground, such pace from Teeter. Texas Tech trying to win five straight. Foul against Baylor. So here's a set piece coming. Anna Anderson will jog forward. You'll see her appear in just a few moments on your screen. First person you see on the right. Right there is Hannah Anderson. Teeter will take the free kick. Williams is in the six. Along with Kazarski. Teeter. Just missed. She was trying for the goal, upper 90. Trying to spin it. You see it has that right to left spin. Too much elevation. Throw in for the Bears. Sense of urgency for Baylor. That'll be a goal kick. Haven Terry going to run on for Baylor. Coming off is Elizabeth Coyman. Schultz has the angle. Casey Schultz. Cross too far in front of Ashley Williams. <laughs> logging the miles. There's cleats tonight. Here's the goal. Charlotte Teeter on the other end of this pass from Kazarski. What a shot. Will it be enough for the game winner? We'll see. Teeter has five game winners in her career. To 7.45 left for the Bears. Vargas. Lost it. Number eight in white will be somebody to watch. So will 24. Max, she had a terrific opportunity just a few minutes ago. Trying to stay on the ball. Keep it away from the Bears. Get to the finish line. Collapse on Taylor. Strong play by Ashley Williams. Down in that corner, the Bears have a throw in. Little ring around the rosy there.
Standings, Texas, TCU, Tech. Tech trying to get to five wins right now with six minutes remaining. This is the top eight. If the season ended today, those would be your seeds. In Round Rock, Texas, the 12 championship. Congratulations to Greg Sands and the Texas Tech men's golf team. They won the Big 12 match play yesterday. Two days ago, as a matter of fact. They were able to take that championship, beating Oklahoma. Tech was the one seed. Oklahoma was the two. Texas Tech men's golf is the number one rated amateur of the country in Ludwig Aber. Strong run by Kylie Barr. Still fresh legs this late into the match. Texas Tech throw in. Five minutes left. Parsons with a spin. Put her in the dryer. Parsons collapsed on the ball. Another throw in coming for Texas Tech. Charlotte Teeter, the lone goal in this one. Vargas tried to lift it up right over her head and went up into the stands. Baylor won a close one last year, three to two. Texas Tech trying to answer in 2022. There's the series, Baylor with the lead, 18-7-4. Red Raiders 4-8-1 at home. And the Bears having the most of the joy in this series. 30th meeting all time. Foul whistle against Kylie Barr. Free kick coming for Baylor. They were trying to create some chaos. Time is called. There's going to be a yellow card on Macy Schultz. The ball off its mark. Coach Leonard pacing now. Attempting to get her team in the position to strike back. Might have seen here Abels spin the ball forward. She was instructed to bring it back. Here's the free kick. Every inch matters. Struck well to the top of the 18, headed for the corner. Schultz will knock it out for a Baylor throw in with 2.50 left. Vargas. Trying to handle here is Leach. Sky Leach. Off Parsons. Still in play. Peyton Parsons getting in the way for a second time tonight. Off that kick from Colbert. Malinga going to check back in with two minutes left. Schultz will come off.
Two minutes. Parsons with Vargas. Leach. Vargas wants the cross, has an opportunity. Let's it fly, headed away by Hannah Anderson. Not all the way. Ashley Williams going to try and keep this ball away. Foul against Williams. This sets up a free kick for Baylor with 125 left. Watch this ball headed for the box. Taking the free kick, Abels. Headed up and taken by Madison White. She'll roll it out here with space in front of Kazarski. The Red Raiders can see the finish line with a minute left. That may have been Baylor's last chance. Still 45 ticks left. Punted down to Ashley Williams. Clock ticking away. Teeter deflected. Last chance possibly for the Bears right here. It's a pretty good chance off the back of the head of Merrill. Kazarski, goal! Red Raiders! That will do it! In spectacular fashion, Giselle Kazarski! What a rocket! Her second goal of the year. With the left. That will send the folks here in Lubbock home happy. Giselle Kazarski. Eight seconds left, she does it. The Red Raiders win. 2-0. Senior night celebration. Goals from Charlotte Teeter and Giselle Kazarski. And the Red Raiders.